Well, no, no, Jimmy, I, 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 I know what you're saying. I'm aware of what you're trying to say. And the answer is yes. <laughs> he just won't leave me alone. Well, when, when he writes to you, what do you respond? He writes letters, goes on and on about himself, and I just say, good for you. Marlon? <laughs> English, actors, English actors do not admire your diction. How did you acquire it? Could it by any chance... Could it by any chance have been a result of your training at the actor's studio? Listen, I didn't learn tiddly twat at the actor's studio. <laughs> and frankly, I'm just sick and tired of all you cats just living off my name forever. <laughs> Leave me alone and bring me the Doritos, would you? My name is Morgan Freeman. And I have been talking like this since I was just a young boy. Uh, one of the uh, stars of Heartburn was Jack Nicholson, and he gave me some pretty good advice about working with Mike. Another day, another $50,000. Jack said, uh, the one thing about Nichols is he's a comic. The bastard's always laughing. It's like working with a damn clown in a director's chair. I love that house of cards. 99% of what they do on that show is real. And the 1% they got wrong is you could never get an education bill passed that fast. <laughs> now, Christopher couldn't be here tonight, Mike, but he did send the following telegram. Mike! <laughs> that... You can be somebody else for us right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's true. Um. <laughs> you know, the AFI, it's an award. It's like the Tony, which I'm up for, and you have a bunch of, it's crazy. I, ho I hope you have time, Steve. I want to inform the affiliates who might be going long tonight. <laughs> Yeah, that's that only because I, I never was able to honor that New Year's resolution I made every year, <laughs> which was to talk faster. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart, or is it Jimmy Stewart playing a kind of Jimmy Stewart? <laughs> well, no, no, Jimmy, I, 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 I know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm aware of what you're trying to say, and the answer is yes. Kevin, how are you? Nice to see you. Oh, shut up, Dave. <laughs> they like it. They like it. I worked on something just for this moment. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful theater. I've never played this theater before, but I would like to. And here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to do a matinee for kids. All kids. Kids, have kids in here. Because you know why? That would be me being a friend. And friendship works. With uh, uh, Kevin Spacey. And that he approached you once, Miss Hepburn. He just won't leave me alone. <laughs> well, when, when he writes to you, what do you respond? He writes letters, goes on and on about himself, and I just say, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> When there's something strange <laughs> in your neighborhood, <laughs> who are you gonna call? <laughs> That's right, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Kevin Spacey often looks to you, Jack Lemon, for uh, professional wisdom. What is your final word tonight? What is your advice to our young people? I wish the hell he'd stop calling me. Leave me the f alone. <laughs> Oh, Dave, you're a big man. Yeah. I'll give you a stick of gum. You can show me how to chew it. Oh! Hoo -ha. <laughs> Mr. Pacino. Oh. <clears throat> You've already been immortalized by... <laughs> by Kevin Spacey on Saturday Night Live. We all said, saw that. Uh, how did you feel about it? Did you, were you pleased? Did... Oh, funny. <laughs> Didn't bother you at all? No. <laughs> Can I get a cappuccino? Michael Caine. 
I, I can do Michael Caine. <laughs> That's what. Uh, Michael Caine, uh, <laughs> uh, we asked him once, how do you go about choosing a movie? And he said, well, what I do is I sit in a nice, comfortable chair and I read the script they want me to consider. I read the first page and then I read the last page. And if the part they want me to play is on both pages, I do the <laughs> picture. <laughs> I would like to ask you, please, because you, you are a very good director, as well as a wonderful actor, Mr. Eastwood. Um, <laughs> what is the, just a word of advice for our many directors out there in our school? <laughs> well, I'd say get it done by four so you can hit the links. <laughs> it's Halloween. A lot of people are dressing up, of course, as ghosts and witches and goblins and vampires. But this year... I've decided I'm going as the scariest creature in the world, my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Walken, you, you are, despite what was just said, a, a distinguished member of the Actors Studio, uh, and this is your second time on this stage. Uh, do you have a response for, for Marlon? Well, you know... <laughs> He's just stoned, you know. You gotta <laughs> forgive him, you know. <laughs> He's crazy that way. Trick or treat. <laughs> Smell my feet. <laughs> Give me something good to eat. 